goes for our living room as I really love the look of it and like how well it fits in with our home decor um, and also because I do have some scrap material left from last time which are fork tubes and pull wraps um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and make another one of these coffee tables I'm going to make this smaller one and I'm going to use it for our home office So this is the form tube I've cut and the pull wrap. You can see my pull wrap, um, as it's a scrap piece, it doesn't fit all the way around the tube. Um, so I'm going to have to use like another scrap piece to um, complete the circle. Um, but when I join the two pieces, I want to try to join them um, like where there is a join line in the pull wrap originally. So I'm going to go and cut off all the uh, half pieces on my pull wrap, like for example, this is a half piece. This is also not a complete piece. Um, this is also not a complete piece. So I'm going to cut all these incomplete pieces off. So when I join, the join line will be more seamless. This is the form tube. As you can see, the top is hollow. So in order for us to attach the top piece onto the form, uh, form tube we're actually going to need a bit of surface area over here so to create that i'm just going to take a scrap piece of wood i'm going to um, kind of give it a little bit of a circular cut so it fits better in the tube and then once it fits within i'm going to use wood glue and nail gun um, to attach it to this tube um, and then once that's done i will apply wood glue over here and then i will place my circular wood piece on top and that should help to you know glue the top to the form tube and hold everything together
this is the table so far. Um, after I cut out the round countertop, I sanded the sides to make it more smooth. Um, and then to attach the top to the bottom, all I did was um, I added some wood glue to the surface between this wood piece and the round countertop. And then I took two screws, they were one and one quarter inch, and then I screwed it in from the bottom. And that helps to secure the two pieces really well. Um, next, I'm going to be uh, adding the veneer tape, which is something you can buy at the store. It looks like this. It has adhesive on the back, which um, like melts down when you apply heat to it. So what I'm going to do is just um, iron this on all the way around like the circumference, and you can see the difference it makes. So this is the original plywood, and then this is um, the table with the veneer tape. It just like really finishes off. Um, yeah, and then lastly, I will do some touch-ups and then I will stain the top surface um, to make the top color more similar to the bottom. So I will, um, I think, think I'm adding like a uh, like a more grayish uh, stain to the top.